What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video and guys today we got a little rant video man We got an amazing rant video and honestly the whole 2K community is honestly agreeing with me on this one today Um as you guys know, they just dropped some new challenges, and obviously I'm not going to play them, and there's reasons why I will never, ever play those. Um, but we just got new spotlights, and honestly, you have to be on little crack to do these, okay? Um, uh, it's just, just some of the requirements are insane. Um, I just don't understand. First off, we're playing all these on, like, Hall of Fame difficulty, all right? It is July. Alright, first off, before we get to it, like it up, sub it up, comment down below. If you guys are new, if we have 50 likes on this video, we'll do a nice giveaway on Twitter for MT. And if you guys need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT um, on Instagram and on Twitter. Links down below. But yo, these challenges are ridiculous, man. I know they're giving you free Dark Matters, but is any of these cards even usable? Like, honestly, they're not. They're just, compared to other people in this game, you can't use any of these cards, guys. I think the only two that are usable are probably... Uh, Raw, not even Rondo, probably Collins and Richardson. That's about it. Um, but if you look at some of these damn requirements, um, I'm actually gonna pull up Twitter just to show you guys what's going on in the community because this is just absolutely insane, guys. This is just no good, no good. All right, we're going to NBA 2K21, my team. Okay, um, just peep what everybody's saying because this is facts, even Shake, Shake and Bake's the man of truth. Um, this is the worst 2k by far. It's not even close. So earn a dark matter each time you conquer one of the 30 most intense challenges most intense Why make it intense? We got two months till 2k 22 and not only that like who wants to play Freaking grinding games at the end of the game. I don't want to play Hall of Fame difficulty and it's way it, it, It's so late in the year for you to drop this stuff. Nobody wants honestly half these players anyways so, J. Rich, Pedja, like, honestly, no one cares. So, change the requirements now. They are damn near possible, impossible. Not even advertising anything for myself. These ain't even possible to beat. We're fucking July. Win games on all fame difficulty without committing a turnover or foul. Good luck to you and all your controllers. It's very true. It's very true. I am not going to rage over a computer to get a player. I don't, I'm not even going to start because I can literally use a pink diamond that's honestly better than this player. All right. The challenges are trash, just like the game mode has been the entire year. One of the worst 2Ks of all time. And honestly, it's very true. The gameplay, first off, isn't even possible as it is. So like if the gameplay sucks, I don't even want to play the game right now because the gameplay is so ass. Not only that, they even drop packs, guys. Why are they dropping more freaking content? Yeah, I'm not going to complain about the packs, honestly. At this point, the only thing they could do is the, the packs are the only thing that is actually interesting in this game at this point. But they dropped another Steph Curry. Do you understand that this is like the 50th Steph Curry in the game? They can't... All right. Okay. How do you fix this game? It is so freaking simple. You have to make the gameplay playable. You have to make an online game mode that makes fucking sense. As you guys can see, I was 0-4. I was testing out squads. Literally, three of them I backed out on, and one of them I lagged out in. So, I'm 0-4. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not good. I'm trying to get used to this gameplay. I haven't played it in months. But this is the squad I'm running. I'm testing it out. I was using a way worse squad, but my team isn't even good. But this is how you fix online. You make the rewards like... They, you you make rewards, guys. These rewards are ass. Nobody wants Drazen Petrovic to go like 100 and 0. Okay? So the online game modes, in my opinion, are ass. Limited is ass. There's no... Look at these prizes. These prizes are straight dookie. All right. Um, just everything in the whole game is just so bad. Um, triple threat online is not good either. It's terrible. So, like, what is good in this game? Um, another thing is, so this is how you fix the game content-wise, and it's so simple. All right, MLB does it very well. MLB The Show does everything very well. I don't know how they're not going to take notes, but they have Jacob DeGrom, as you guys know, the best pitcher in the league on the Mets, all right? They have Jacob DeGrom as one of the most superior pitchers in the game, and he's untouchable. They're not going to make another DeGrom. If they do, it's going to be a worse overall for better for players that don't have a lot of stubs, okay? Probably like one of his rookie cards, all right? So they're going to have a maximum of three Jacob DeGroms, a maximum of like three Fernando Tatises, and they're probably not even going to have um, those players. So what I think they should do, 
If you want LeBron, if you want Curry, if you want Giannis, if you want MJ, if you want T-Mac, if you want those OP players, you have to get them in a certain way that is going to be almost impossible, okay? Um, so if you want Curry, they should not be able, like, like, like this Invincible Curry, right? You know what's crazy about that Invincible Curry? Curry is known for one thing and one thing only. Well, he's known for winning finals, obviously, but you could get a Galaxy Opal Curry and shoot from the same range as the Invincible one. So what makes no sense to me is why are they going to drop 500 LeBrons and 500 Giannis's if the Galaxy Opal that's 15 times cheaper could play identically the same? Okay, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't make any sense. And this is what's throwing me off for the away from the game. They just came out with a Giannis like two weeks ago, and they just dropped another Giannis. Why? Why? This one's all 99. That's the difference. But it just makes me not want to play the game because I can get this invincible Giannis and still get bullied by the 98 Giannis. So I just don't understand what they're trying to prove. I think that they're trying to make the game good by releasing more content. But honestly, by releasing this type of content, it's not going to make the game well. It's not going to make the game well gelled. It's going to be who pays to wins. As you guys can see, in my opinion, this Steph Curry, this Mo Bamba is sick. This content's cool, but it's not the point. It's pay to win. It's not even close. These cards are not guarding Steph Curry. These cards are not guarding that Mo Bamba. These cards are straight Duke. So, in my opinion, they really got to fix this game. I just highly, highly disagree on what they're doing. It's just not fair. And I don't like how they're dropping this free stuff at the end of the year. And where are the locker codes, man? It's just, I don't know, man. If you guys do do the challenges, good luck to you. I'm not playing Hall of Fame. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. But I don't know, man. Hopefully next year's good. I miss like 2K19. I miss, I miss 2K19 the most. 2K19 was the year that got me back into 2K. 2K17. 2K13 was probably the best year of 2K ever. Uh, if you played 2K13, I was 13 years old. It was my favorite 2K ever. The VC glitches, um, the way the market was, it was just absolutely phenomenal. So, I don't know. Hopefully, in the next couple years, they do fix this. But this is just absolutely terrible. I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. That's all we got for the vid. Have a good one. Peace.